Block of the week, block of the week. Yeah, block of the week. Which block is it going to be? Well, you will have to stick around, my friend, and maybe you will see. Good morning. I hope you're well. Jamie here with more Gutenberg Block Editor tips and tricks. Welcome to my brand new YouTube weekly feature, which I'm calling Block of the Week. Thank you to my daughter for producing that amazing introduction. I hope you enjoyed it. We're starting off with a really cool block called the Block Visibility Block. Uh, it basically lets you add conditional controls for whether blocks appear or not. There are three main uses that I'm going to highlight today that you can use it for. There are more, but I'm just going to highlight three ones. Those are content management, so you can hide blocks as you're building them, basically. Two, you can schedule blocks, which is great for promotional um, content, like you might be running a sale through WooCommerce on your website. You want to create a sales banner, but you want to hide it while, until the sale goes live. And three, personalization. So those are the three main features. I think it's really cool for. So here we go. Hope you enjoy it. This is the plugin. It's a free plugin available from WordPress.org. I will put a link to it in the description of this video below, but it's called Block Visibility. Um, it has over a thousand downloads at the moment. I'm sure that will grow and it's just getting uh, pretty much all five star reviews. So it's, it's getting some great feedback. So I've installed it on this website here. And the first thing to check out is there are actually some settings with this that it's worth checking out. Let me just show you these. So before you start, I would recommend you just check out the um, the settings here because there's, there's some cool stuff in here. So you can actually decide whether to show, and I'm going to show you in a second, where the uh, visibility options show. You can decide whether to show those um, and you can also decide what um, ones you show. Okay, but it'll make more sense when I, when I actually show you them. So it's just worth checking out this settings screen which you can find in settings and block visibility. You've got some other cool things in here like visibility controls. Um, that's basically turning on and off the options. Okay, so just check those settings out, make sure you're comfortable with those. And then this is the page I'm creating. So scenario number one where I think this is useful is content management. So imagine you're working on a page and you want to create, you're basically updating the page. Or you might be working in teams and you've got different people working on that page and they've got different sections to work on. Well, what's cool about this is you can actually um, specifically uh, hide certain blocks and this is where Gutenberg just comes into its own because we have this atomization of content now in Gutenberg You couldn't do this in the old editor. It was just basically a blob So this is really this is really playing to Gutenberg's strengths. So this is the this is the um, block I'm working on. This is just a cover block and In here we've got some content and you can see there's a section here um, Which is saying Jane can you finish this section please and at the moment this is all visible so if I view the page you know, if I publish that page now, everyone would see this block even though it's not finished. But with block visibility, we can just um, select the block. And then can you see over here on the right, we have this visibility section. And this is so cool because the simplest option here is hide block. So if I just click hide block, and let's update this and now view the page, even though it's showing in the editor, it's not showing on the page anymore. So, that, you know, that, that seems to me a really cool thing so you can start to edit your pages uh, see what they're going to look like in the block editor because it's kind of WYSIWYG but not actually have them show on the site but you can also do lots of other things in here and I'm going to sh move on to these in a second you can schedule them so you can actually say right I only want this block to show at a certain time uh, you can also um, add schedules so more than one you've got user roles down here so you can show the you can um, decide what user role that block is going to show to and you've also got um, screen sizes so if you want to hide this on the on a desktop but show it on a mobile for example you can do that just with these little toggles down here cool so that's the first that's the first way I see this a really great use um, user scenario where you're doing content management the second one is this ability to time schedule content and this is you know in my mind this would be fantastic for WooCommerce when you're trying to run or you're running promotions on your site and you want to run a promotion, but you want to schedule it for a specific time. So this one here, this is a page. And let's go to the edit screen. Now I've got on this page, I've got this lovely sale um, countdown block, which is actually part of one of our plugins called Storefront Blocks that just lets you basically create these nice sales countdowns. But wouldn't it be great if you could actually schedule that to only appear when the sale actually begins on your shop? So you could set these up in advance, basically. 
And of course you can do that with block visibility, it's really cool. So down here, uh, and again, what's great about block visibility, it, work, it works on all blocks, to, you know, core blocks and third party blocks. So there's visibility. And can you see here, I've just set a, um, a schedule for when this should show. So if I set this to start actually on the 24th, which is not until the future, and up here, it'll actually tell me that that is time that is now scheduled just by that little icon there. Now, if I view the page now, can you see how that's not showing? But it will show on the 24th. And all I would have to do is make sure that my sales countdown in here was basically coordinated with the end time, which I can set in um, block visibility here. So you set a start time and an end time. So you could actually have this disappear when the sale's over. So I think that's that's gonna be absolutely incredibly powerful for WooCommerce stores. Let's move on to the third way that I think you could really use this. And this starts to get really powerful when we start to think about personalization. But they have a demo here, and the idea is that you can actually change the content based on query strings. Now you can see a query string up here. Now this is potentially really exciting because then potentially you could start to feed um, the content to your customers via like a, um, CRM system or a mailing list and produce personalized landing pages. That's one one application that I think would be really cool because you can see when I actually get rid of that query string and reload the page, can you see how the that box disappears? So what you you know potentially what you could have here is personalized content being driven by a database based on these query strings. So I haven't got a demo to show you, but I'm going to try and line one up for a few weeks time because I think that'd be completely awesome because then you'd be able to create dynamic pages uh, potentially for your email uh, subscribers which would be really really powerful in terms of increasing conversions so there we go there's a look at uh, our first block of the week block visibility i hope you find some use in that i think it's a really cool block you can go and check it out for free on wordpress.org and find some use with it uh, if you enjoyed this video if you can give it a thumbs up that'd be fantastic if you want to see more blocks of the week hit the subscribe button i'm doing about two videos a week now on gutenberg uh, the block editor and also WooCommerce and some other cool WordPress stuff. So thank you so much and I shall see you soon.